We're here with Mark Reinhardt and we just want to catch up with you at the 2023 AOC here in Australia for this event. Uh, to firstly, just tell us how did you go this weekend? Yeah, it was wonderful. I mean, uh, the racing wise was good anyway in the end uh, by winning the race, but uh, like the whole, yeah, the whole track facility and the people here were just amazing. So yeah, for me, it was just like a perfect event for sure. I'd like to dig back in, in the history and go back to the beginning. How did you first get into RC? Uh, actually, my father had a, a hobby shop and her own race track, so I could go there after school and just drove there, Tamiya Cup stuff and from the M chassis. And that's how everything started. So I did Tamiya Cup the first years and then I stayed with Tamiya for the open class as well. So yeah, that's how it started. What's been your top three most memorable events? For sure, the first world since 2004. Of course, we didn't expect anything. We just went there, like my f uh, mother and father and me, just going there without any expectations. I had some good races before, but not like uh, thinking about winning the world. So uh, yeah, this one for sure. This kind of changed my not my life, but like the way of I see. Um, yeah, let's say the world is always special. You know, like 2008, the, the race with Hara, like the, the last main, when I uh, made the nice pass on him, which gave me another title. Um, the world's in Germany, home country, also special. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, if I would pick three, I think these three are the ones. Yeah. And uh, for anyone who's seen RC, obviously, you know, there's the, the hobby level, starting level with the kids, right up, up to your level. Yeah. What advice would you give to, to people starting out in RC yeah. that aspire to be, you know, a professional driver? I think the most important thing is, I think, in any sport, the same, just to enjoy. You should not make pressure yourself too much. Just, just go out, drive, have fun. And yeah, bring the, the passion to it. And uh, like the success normally comes from being relaxed, easy, and uh, just, just doing what you like. And what events have you got coming up? What's your, your calendar like? Are you pretty busy? You've just been um, traveling for a month? No, I think my next race is going to be the, the Euros 12 scale in April. So until middle of April, I don't have any race. So I'm just going to be off racing. We'll not practice at all anything. Just say uh, it was enough now the two weeks I had. So uh, yeah, that's the one. And then I think we start the ETS season in June. Not sure what's in between. I think I have to go to Canada for one race for the Orca. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. And who would you like to thank? Who, what brands and, and people support you and, and got you to where you are? Yeah, I think in the first place I need to thank my brother and Tony Sport because uh, yeah, they kind of send me around now um, together with uh, Automatics. Uh, yeah, for sure, Orca for the great electronic stuff, PowerHD for the servos, and uh, yeah, every every sponsor I have. I mean, I might forget one like Charter, the ISTT, like everyone, everyone I who supports me to go around the world. Well, one thing I noticed today, your your bodies are incredible. Seeing them in photos, but then seeing them in person, who who paints your bodies? And, and tell me a little bit about the the history of your color scheme or your design. Uh, basically, like back in the day, I saw the body shirt from Satoshi Mizumi, uh, Tamiya guy. So I picked his colors and just tried to change the design a bit. But this was back in, I think, 2003. So from that moment on, I kept it always the same. Went to the Japanese painter Team TD, I guess it's the most famous one. Um, and since last year, or end of last year, I changed to a paint in Italy. It was just also easier for me as a good friend of mine and easier in Europe to send the stuff back, back and forth. So, uh, yeah, that's the guy. Excellent. Well, uh, thank you very much for talking to us. Congratulations on your results you. this weekend. And good luck in the next one. Thank you.